Hi, my name is Dick Ensing. I'm a Tennessee artist. Today you're going to get a free lesson. I'm going to take you through the mechanics of painting. But before we start, I'm going to put a little bit of the uh, gloves in a bottle on. And this protects your hands. You rub it in and it protects your hands against oils, against the turps. And when you go to wash up, you won't have a bit of paint on your hands. Hi, my name is Dick Ensing. I'm basically an impressionistic painter. Uh, I'm going to show you, and it's, it's basically a trick, but it does, it works very well, a very inexpensive way to clean your pastels. Now, I work basically in pastels, oils, a little bit of watercolor, but if I mess up the watercolor, then I build them up in pastels. But pastels get quite dirty as, as you're using them, and you can't see what the color is. So I'm going to show you how to very, very inexpensively clean them. And you may even have what I'm going to tell you to use at home, or you may have to go down to the grocery store and get it. But it's a little substance called cornmeal, which you can buy in the store. Very inexpensive. I've got a bag of yellow cornmeal here. We're going to take this bag. I'm going to show you how to do it. Just take and pour a little bit out in the container, or in a bucket, however you want. I'm going to pour out a little bit in each container here. And you get a bonus with the cornmeal. You take it back in and you go back and make corn muffins out of it. Very good. In the Smokies where I live and do my painting, we've got a lot of places that sell this cornmeal. They'll stone grind it. So anyhow, we'll put the bag back here. Now your pastels, if you look at these pastels, they've gotten dirty. We just finished with a uh, painting here and, then, and a lot of these pastels got other colors on them. I'm going to show you how to clean them very easily. Just take a handful of them up here. And put a few of them right into the cornmeal. We'll put a few in each one of these buckets here. Now you can see how dirty they are when you first put them in. If you got a bucket, it's, it's a little bit better, but I'm trying to show you so you, we can illustrate it to you. Just mix them around in the cornmeal like this. And the cornmeal is almost, almost acts like a sandpaper. You'll see how nice and clean these things will come out. It doesn't take very long. The best thing is put them in a bucket and kind of shake them up. <clears throat> Don't use this cornmeal for cooking, though. Just use what's in the bag. Look at these colors. Look how bright they come out when you take them out. They come out beautifully and bright. Put them over here, you'll see. Put them on a night waist. It doesn't take very long. We'll do this one more time just to illustrate it. We'll take some more dirty ones out. How nice and clean those are. And use, don't throw the cornmeal away. You can use it a lot. It's just use it over and over and over again. It comes right off your pastel. It's not going to hurt them. Okay. Do it one more time. Look in the box. You see how dirty these are? Got all mixed in. Let's, let's just take a couple more of these. Now hold them out here, you can see how dirty they are now. Let's drop them in. Clean it. <clears throat> now this is a, one of the free art lessons. It's a, it's a little tip that you may not see in any book. Uh, use it, enjoy it, pass it on to your friends. Okay. It may seem like it's maybe a Kind of a corny thing that's good in a corn bowl, but anyhow, it's a very nice way to clean your pasta. Look how nice and clean these come out. Just like brand new. Now if they got paper, I like to take the paper off my pastels when I use them. Okay. Now look in the dirty box, look at how nice these are clean. Now you can clean them a little bit more, shake them up a little bit. Now you're, Cornmeal is going to get a little dirty, but don't throw it out. There's still a few in here. And keep these little pastels. Just shake out the cornmeal. There you go, they're nice and clean. That's just a nice little tip. You can pass it on to your friends. Uh, there's a lot of substance in a lot of these little free lessons you get. Matter of fact, some of these lessons are part of the bigger the bigger lessons. 
Anyway, my name's Dick Ensing. My website is www. No, excuse me, that's not the website. It's www.dickensingartist.com. Then the email is uh, dickensing at bellsouth.net. You're allowed to write me and ask me questions and uh, feel free. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.